here. My name's Adam. I'm going to be giving you a quick walkthrough on this Cougar fifth wheel. So up here in the front, we've got two light switches. These are for our docking light and our LED lights on the front cap. We have two propane tanks on this unit, 30 pounder on this side, and you've got a 30 pounder on, 30 pounder on the other side as well. Regulator is on this side, and it's got this little arrow. So right now it's pointed to the right. That means we're feeding from this side. If we want to pull from the other side, we we'll just switch that over to the left, and it's going to pull from the tank on the opposite side of the unit. In our storage bay, we've got all our water connections right here on the right side. We've got outdoor shower up here. This is the winterizing port. This is the city water connection. We always recommend using a pressure regulator when you're hooked into city water. Right down here, this is the tank flush. This is uh, for the black tank specifically. So if you wanna flush out your black tank, clean it out, make sure this valve is open. That's your waste valve. And then you're gonna run the flush and it's gonna clean out the tank. And that's the black tank. The black tank valve on the left, gray tank valve on the right. Gray tank is your shower and sink water. Also for the winterizing up here, this is the switch to turn it on. So that's winterize mode right there. And on the right, we've got our key TV. And then up here is our solar input. Over here on the left, we have our jack panel. So these are electric jacks. So if we want to raise and lower the front, all we have to do is hit front. If we want to lower it, hit the retract button and hold front again. Now you can run these arrows on the left. It's got a few different options. So we've got manual, hit enter, and then it's gonna show you your degrees, high and low and left and right. We'll turn it off and scroll back through. We've got auto retract rear and auto retract all jacks. That's gonna retract everything. And also it's got this auto hitch height. So if you get the trailer off of the truck, it's gonna remember that height that you were at. And if you immediately hit auto level, the next time you go to auto hitch height when you're done camping, it's gonna go right back to where it was when you put it on your truck. So if you wanna auto level, all you have to do is hit that switch. And it's gonna take it roughly three to five minutes to auto level. And you need to make sure nobody is inside the unit moving around. Above that, this is our solar panel disconnect. So if we want to turn off our panels, turn that switch to the left, and it's gonna turn those panels off. Up here in the front, this is the battery disconnect switch right here. So right now we're on. If we want to disconnect our battery, we'll just turn this switch off. It's going to disconnect the battery. This is the water heater access. Now all the controls for the water heater are on the inside. This is an on-demand water heater, so as soon as you turn the hot side on, it's going to automatically kick on. The furnace vent right here. And this is the sewer cap. And our valves our black and our gray are up there inside that compartment. And we've got another gray valve right here for our second gray tank. This is our fresh water fill to open this door and a stick a water hose in that to fill the fresh tank. And the drain for the fresh tank is right here. That white valve right there. Pull that valve to drain the fresh tank. And this is where our shore power hooks in. Right here. This is a 50 amp unit. On the inside, this unit has the in command system. So, this is what the home screen looks like. We can control our lights from here, our water pump, and we'll hit the HVAC. This unit has two air conditioners. So if I want to turn my front AC on, I'm already in front. I can go to cool. I can adjust my temperature right here. If I want to go to my rear air, same thing. Control it from right there. 
and on the rear air is where your furnace is going to be so there it is right there heat and we'll go back to home screen this is also where we're going to control our slides and our awnings all the slide switches are located right there and front and rear awning and then you can also go into your settings you can connect your phone to this and uh, you can select a passcode above that we've got a couple light switches there this is our battery heater for our batteries on the front of the unit and then our water heater control right here so you can adjust the temperature and as long as this is on as soon as we open uh, the hot side of a sink or the shower it's gonna kick on down here on the floor this is the distribution panel all the 120 breakers are right here labeled what they go to and all the 12 volt fuses on the right side now if one of these were to pop it's gonna illuminate a light right next to it to let you know which one has popped and above that this is the carbon monoxide and propane leak detector this runs off the battery on the front of the unit. And up there on the ceiling, that is the smoke detector. It runs off the nine volt battery. We can control the refrigerator from right here on the outside. It's got this lock, so it won't let you do anything until you unlock it. So to unlock it, hold down the lock button, and then you can control the temperature you want the freezer and also the refrigerator. So that we got the microwave, the three burner range to light the range, turn the eye to high, and then hit the igniter on the left. Oven is the same way. Turn it to the little flame, that's the pilot. Hold that button in. And you may have to click this a few times to make the oven light and then you can adjust the temperature. At the entertainment center, you got the TV, stereo below that, and down here is the fireplace. Now it runs off shore power, which we're not hooked into right now, but that will produce heat. This counts for making to a bed. These love seats are controlled right there coming into the bathroom we've got our GFCI outlet right here on the wall now this is a resettable outlet so if you've got something inside the unit not working somewhere you can come here make sure that's not tripped and the shower door this is a glass door so you always want to make sure that this is locked into place like that whenever you're traveling down the road. Inside the bedroom, get storage underneath the bed. A USB port on that side there. And you also have a washer dryer hook up in here. And same way with the closet doors, you want to make sure those are locked in whenever you're traveling down the road. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, go visit our website or give us a phone call. Check the link out in the description below.